four months into Shelby County's vaccination campaign, organizers are adjusting hours and strategies to boost numbers. The ongoing vaccination push now has new urgency as yet another contagious COVID-19 strain is found in a local lab. Here's local 24 news reporter Brad Broders. We have seen a bit of an uptick this week in people taking advantage of the vaccines, and that is good news. But even with a bump this week of doses into arms, tweaks continue at Shelby County vaccine sites as organizers balance available manpower with lighter days of late. There will not be uh, vaccinations this Sunday at the Pipkin building uh, just due to demand, which is very, very low on the weekends. Shelby County health experts said the need remains for more COVID-19 vaccinations as more contagious variants emerge locally. Emerging threats could come to us from anywhere in the world at any point in time. The latest cause for concern came as a local lab detected the first case of the B1617 variant linked to the recent COVID-19 surge in India. So it's one person and we've been working to uh, isolate and test contacts and you know quarantine those as well. The good news, studies show COVID-19 vaccines protect against this particular variant, which has a mutation that's currently the dominant strain in California. Health experts are grateful local variants are found and contained quicker, thanks in part to the UT Health Science Center's Regional Biocontainment Lab, one of just a dozen or so in the country. We are detecting these variants because our surveillance capability is more capable, more designed, more robust. This week, those with the World Health Organization said to date they've detected the B1617 variant in 17 countries around the world. Reporting at the Shelby County Health Department, Brad Broders, Local 24 News.